In our latest update in Create Studio, we've added some cool new features and improvements. The first one, blend modes. Blend modes are a really easy way for you to blend footage together nicely in your video projects. Now on each of your layers, you'll see a new mode button. Simply click that button and hover your mouse on any of the blend modes and click again to apply them to your layers. We've also made some improvements to our editor, such as multi-layer resizing, soften edges in green screen editing, better rounded radius for rectangles and squares, and the option to change custom dimensions inside your project. Let's jump in and I'll show you some creative ways how you can use these in your own projects. Alright, so let's take a look at the new blend modes. Now I've created some projects to give you some examples of how you can use these. Um, so first of all, what I want to do is show you how to blend in your text with footage below. Okay, so basically what you want to do is add some footage, add your text on top, and go to mode, and then simply hover your mouse and go over to overlay. And you're about to see now that we've got this really nice blended look with our text and our footage merging together. And if you want the text to stand out more, what you could do is either duplicate it by using Command D, like that. Or what you could also do is, if you select your text, go to Advance, and then go to Shadow, and just bring up the blur like this, and you can create a really nice looking glow effect um, with your text. And if you really you know, adjust the, the whiteness, you can you know, see how, the transparency, sorry, you can see how much it affects your text, okay? So it's a really cool way that you can blend text with footage. The next one I want to show you is how you can add snow or rain or other overlays on top of your footage and it doesn't have to be a transparent MOV. So what I've done is just downloaded some uh, footage, it's basically an MP4 video with some snow like this and I'm just going to drag and drop it on top and just resize it and let's just go and bring it down actually over like so to make it nice and neat. And all I want to do is basically click on mode and then go over to screen. And the screen mode basically removes the black parts of your video. So if you preview this like so, you see got a really nice looking snow overlay on that. And you can also select the one lighting as well. That one also works quite well, but screen looks pretty the best with this uh, footage. Another one I'll show you is transitions. So you can get some really cool uh, video transitions. Uh, and if it just has a black or, or a white background, you can really remove that without having to use like a green screen uh, tool. So let's just drag this transition over here. And this one's a really nice one of like kind of a snow ice effect. And I just want to reveal what's underneath uh, this transition. So let's just uh, position that in the middle. And again, just go to mode, go to screen. Or you can go to lighting as well. One of these ones looks really good, but I'm going to use screen and you'll have to see if I play this through. We've got a really nice transition effect. Cool. So the next one I want to show you is how you can actually colorize, you know, uh, footage or images or even, I guess, characters in one specific color. So um, what I've got here is just some text and I've got a rectangle. Okay. So if I just remove that rectangle, you'll be able to see, um, this is the footage below. It's just like a blue video background. And all I've done is basically added a rectangle over here. I'll just go ahead and do it as well again, like this. Um, and I'll just drag this down like so. And I'll delete that one. Okay, so I've got my rectangle here. And I'm just going to call this one color. And I'm just going to go and grab a color like purple, for example. And I click on mode. And then if I go over to the color screen mode, you have to see that it's added that purple color on top of my footage, okay? So I could go through, you know, and change it to any kind of color. Let's say you want a red background like that. And you'll be able to see if I play this footage through. It really works well with blending the colors together. So you can quickly, you know, create, uh, you know, new footage, I guess, from your same footage using the color type uh, overlay, okay? So just adding a rectangle and using the mode color and you can adjust the color and, yeah, stylize your footage. Now another really cool one that we've uh, that I really like, uh, especially with explainer style, style videos or to add any kind of texture to your video, is what you can do is, let's say for example, I've got some scrumpled paper. This is just a JPEG image. I'm just gonna drag it down like so and just again, resize it, place it on top. And I'll just spin this around and scale it up like so, okay? So I've got my image here. And what I wanna do is basically overlay this on my explain a video and what I would normally do is just try and adjust the opacity but you can see that it gives this kind of white tint feel and it doesn't really you know blend that well with my actual 
uh, you know, video. So what I want to do is basically bring out this, these dark cracks to add that texture. So all you need to do is simply go to mode. And if you've got a light, you know, image like this paper one over here, you can either select darken or multiply. Multiply works best. So you can see over here like that. And I've got this really nice texture on my explainer video like that. You can see like so. And if you wanted to make it a bit more subtle, you can again adjust the opacity to bring it down so it's not such a heavy effect. But this looks really, really good, you know, to add some extra style to your explainer style videos. Cool. So now what I want to show you is how you can like, for example, add like a moon to one of your backgrounds. I've got like a footage of a moon over here. I'll just resize this down, bring it across. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is again, just go to mode and go to screen and you can see I've got a really nice looking moon. Uh, or I can go to lighting as well, that probably might look a bit better. And you'll be able to see if I just play this through. This is actually a, a video f of a moon, okay? You can see it works really well, you know, just kind of removing that black part of your footage. And you can be creative and find lots of different types of footage that you can use this screen type effect on. Okay, so those are the main ones I want to show you. There's heaps of other things you can do with blend mode. So make sure to check out YouTube. You're about to find some other tutorials on that. And we'll also be bringing out some cool tutorials on other things you can do with blend modes. Um, also, we've added a really nice feature to our green screen option. So if I just grab my green screen footage here and go to advanced and go to remove color, I'll just select the green over here. Whoops, bring it over here and bring out the tolerance like that. Okay, cool. So this one's quite a clear cut because the green screen's quite uh, done quite well. But you can see that, for example, if I made it a bit lower like this, around the edges it's quite harsh. So we've added this uh, option to add edge fading, okay? And it basically smooths out the edges. So you have a really nice clean look for your green screen footage, okay? And again, you can just play around the tolerance, maybe bring this up a little bit, maybe like seven, bring in the edge fading around like so. You can see I've got a really nice clean look on this green screen now, okay? So yeah, play around with that. I hope you enjoyed this green screen option. We've also added uh, the option to add custom dimensions for your projects inside the editor. Just like that, for example. And you can, you know, make it square or adjust it however you like inside the actual editor. And a really helpful uh, option we've added as well is being able to, you know, multi-select different uh, tracks and resizing them all at once like this, okay? So you can really play around with that and, yeah, get things done a lot faster than having to do it manually one by one. So I hope you enjoyed these updates. Make sure to download the latest version to see these updates in your account. And yeah, as always, have fun creating.